Hey you guys and welcome back to Reams Games. Today we're taking a look at Wrong World, a game given to me on Keymailer. I requested it, but I got it eventually. Which is nice, happy to have it. Oh, we're just going to go ahead and play. We're on day 10, 4pm, but let's just do an empty slot. <clears throat> and... There are a few game modes, these were recently added. There's an easy where permadeath and XP is disabled, and health regeneration is enabled. So this game, if you've ever, not to compare games, but if you've ever played Don't Starve or any other game where when you lose or die in a permadeath, you get permanent save slot XP, or XP for the account. I haven't made two save slots, so I'm not really sure which one it is, but eventually you'll level up, and then you'll get a thing, access to... Some games do new characters, other games do like new tools, new things to explore, stuff like that, things to give you a little bit of fun. There's also a normal mode where you have permadeath and the XP. So right here it says, XP based on your performance. Start to unlock tasty rewards in the form of shiny new things to play around with in the next mission. As far as I know, that's the next mission and all the missions after that. And then I guess there's slow health regeneration. I didn't really notice that when I had my health above 90, but it falls below 90 so fast that I might just not have seen it. Then there's hard mode if you see greater challenge and stuff, which very few people do. Now, permadeath and XP, faster hunger loss, tougher dudes, more frequent events, which we may or may not see any of those. And health regeneration is disabled. We're just gonna go do normal. Let's just get into wrong world. I'm actually kinda having fun with it. It's uh it's a different little game. Story so far is rocket ship went boom and you went R down to this little island thing. I want to say it's procedurally generated. Uh, don't quote me on that. So this is our little dude. It's our little wrong world alien dude. He's got a mouth. Telling you left mouse to attack, right mouse to interact. Mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Q opens up your build menu different things that you have the option of creating. You have your tools, your food, your combat, and your structures. And then E opens up your inventory. Inventory space is pretty limited until you get a bit into the game. I haven't even actually made a chest yet, but uh, this game is pretty easy to pick up. We're gonna have a little fun with us. There's not too much more to do over here, so... Let us... Let's just go here. Wherever this takes us. Oh, hey, what's that? Oh, that's the, the boxing ring. Okay, let's get out of the water, honestly. Alright, we are now somewhere else. Alright, whatever. I mean, it's a fun little game. Looks silly. Um, silly things happen. There's a bunch of random... I wouldn't say random, there's just things all over the map that you need to discover and explore. The game doesn't seem too threatening, and honestly, on hard, I don't see myself dying unless it's to an event that I have not encountered. And I haven't seen any events, I've only seen the screenshots momentarily, so... Um, I've seen a few people cover this game when it first came out. It is in early access. So right there we got a flapple, it's an apple with wings. Go ahead and eat it, bring us back up to 100. Nighttime is an interesting beast. 
and that is why that was real time. The the world kind of just flips over and you end up with a starry night. That's what that was called, right? Starry night. Kind of this watercolor. It's blushy. Just kind of rotates around a little bit while the moon moves. There's some rude dudes that come out at night. But really, just like any other survival crafting game, your goal is to run around uh, punching things. This game takes it to a whole new level. Instead of punching, you're just headbutting. I would like to believe that is a nod of my phone so it stops making all this god dang noise. I like to believe that headbutting is really just a nod at the survival crafting genre. Uh, as a whole, but maybe that's being a little too artistic about it, looking into it. Whatever the case, I think it's kind of cool. It's refreshing. Now if we get three mushrooms, we can cook them on a campfire. We need some stone. So I have 24 wood. Let's try to get like 30 real quick. I'm not going to show off too much of this game. This game is all about kind of exploring it, but I want to give you guys kind of the idea of what you're going for here. It's one of those, you run around getting a few resources to build things. I always get these mixed up. To build things to help you get other resources slightly faster. Oh, you can hit tab to cycle through these things. So now chopping trees is a little bit faster. Now that we have the wooden axe. Well, I'm not going down there to get that. That's more the way we came. I'd like to go over there. There's a, a sign up there. So that's cool. While you're harvesting, you can look around check the resources. Uh, ceramics. Uh. That's the word I meant, surrounding. Tired man. Alright. I don't know if there's fall damage. I haven't really encountered it. But just, you know. Just because you haven't seen something. Doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. Necessarily. Okay. Give me your meat, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna go down here and fight one of these yetis. Show you guys some real manly combat. First time I actually fought one of these guys, I didn't know that you could lock on. There's kind of an arena in the game, and I spawned right next to it my very first time. And I've only played this like an hour before recording, so I won't say that I've seen everything or that I'm super overly spoiled. There we go. Oh, the Yetis drop resources. Okay, well, okay, so hold on. Let me backtrack a little bit. If you kill uh, just about anything that you kill has like a resource pool that it will drop. For instance, snakes seem to drop sand. Uh, little wood dudes that you'll see around or little rock dudes that you'll see around and can spawn when destroying a resource node. Honestly, we're not using our axe for that. They do have durability. You just can't see it. And it does last a while, so durability personally isn't much of an issue. But you can see if you Destroy rocks, you'll get some stones uh, out of it. We need ten. Ten wood. Whatever. Let's just make a pickaxe. It'll go a little bit faster. So far, my only gripe is that some of the drops seemed a little rare. Like I was trying to get some ores to do some stuff. Oh shit, hey, there's one of the dudes right now. 
I need to punch him into the water for an achievement. Damn. Like, he died anyways, but... Fishy, alright. Getting a tiny bit distracted. We're gonna test it out on these yetis. There we go. Swimming lesson. So you don't get the resource drops from them, but uh, you can do things like criticals with tools. And they have some form of knockback on them. But I want to use these yetis. Kill them for the resources. Cool. It's alright to use the lock-on. The lock-on does help, but I don't want to use it. There is a little symbol above their head. It will, I believe, change color depending on their health. But maybe not. I actually just now realized that it's just cycling colors on its own. So you can get things like ice, uh, coal. It appears that you can get iron and copper from them as well. I don't know if you just want to stay here and farm yetis all day. But yeah, I'm not going to lie, this is pretty much just what the game is. You run around punching trees. Oh, uh, we need to find a place to set up a base somewhere. It's good to set up near a landmark or something. On my original world, there's kind of this nice looking, nice looking spot. And I set up next to it. And that was that. That is a cool story, Rames. Good job. So the desert has rocks, as you might imagine. Um, phone, it is not lunchtime. I am not at work today. Thank you, though. Uh, I appreciate it. Good looking out for me, dude. There's also rock dudes in, in the sand place. Let's go ahead and make a campfire. Boom. Oh, great. So I told you there's some baddies that come out at night. Some real assholes. If I was paying attention, I wouldn't have gotten hit. What I did was got stuck in a cycle where I was attacking the wrong direction. He dropped a seed and a rock. What a nice guy. Let's go back to making that campfire, shall we? Zoom in on our furry little friend here. You know what? What better place than right here? And then you can just make cooked meat. Just tinkers around a little bit. A little animation. And cooked meat, there you go. It gives you 25 food and 2 health. And we're above 100 health, so you can see that we are actually slowly regenerating our life. But yeah, I mean, as far as the base game goes, that's pretty much what you can expect. So the next thing we would do is... You know, again, not to spoil things, but you want to make a workbench and like a smelter and an anvil. You can see right here, build a workbench to unlock more structures, so there are more things than what you initially see. Kind of like creating a science machine and don't starve. Again, not to compare the games. But uh, I can't think of any other examples, per se, of a survival crafting game that looks similar. It doesn't feel similar, it doesn't play similar. You know... Um, every enemy has its own attack pattern. 
you can fight multiples of these guys at the same time. If you really wanted to. In fact, let's do it. Why not? Oh, one of these is bigger. Sometimes you'll get hit. That's life. And there you go. I am just the best, most pro, wrong world player of all times. Uh, bow down to me. For I am your best, best survival guide in Wrong World. Yep. Definitely going to keep an eye on this game. I want to play a little bit more in my free time. Maybe stream it. That looks like a spike trap, even though I'm pretty sure it's just supposed to be... Oh, three meat. I have never been so overwhelmed with meat in my life. What is this? Can I break it? That's cool. Oh, we got a coin. There's a thing we could do with a coin. But I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. So this has been Wrong World. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay positive. This game isn't early access and I'll keep an eye on it. Definitely going to play a little bit more of it. Let me know if you want to see more of it. Have yourselves a great day. I think I told you to stay positive, but just in case, do it twice. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.